One of the reasons I love cruising so much is because it's incredibly affordable. Cruising is so convenient because everything's in one spot, including your food, entertainment, accommodations, and transportation. You can kick back and truly relax when you decide to cruise for your vacation. With your cruise fare including so much, you'll feel like you're at an all-inclusive resort without blowing your vacation budget. For as little as $50 a day, cruising can be a great option for families, couples, and solo travelers alike. You'll get to see multiple places without ever having to unpack your suitcase, giving you more time to soak up every minute of your vacation. Planning a cruise on a budget requires some planning and preparation. A little research can go a long way to ensure your cruise vacation fits within your budget. No one wants to feel like they're skimping on their vacation. Here are our best tips to successfully planning a cruise on a budget so you can have your best cruise yet. First, establish your budget. Before planning your cruise, you'll want to first establish how much you're comfortable spending on your cruise vacation. While your cruise fare will be the bulk of your expense, you'll also want to consider other factors. If you need to fly to the cruise port, be sure you take into account airline tickets. You may also need a hotel before the cruise departs, along with any transportation needed to and from the port. You should also consider how much you want to splurge on things that are important to you on vacation. Are you hoping to do shore excursions at every port? Will you want to purchase any specialty dining or beverage packages? Decide what's most important to you and make sure that your budget takes that into consideration. Cruise budgeting requires prioritization. Unless you have an unlimited budget, you need to decide what you value most on vacation. Next, research cruise lines. Once you've determined your budget, it's time to decide on the best cruise line for your vacation. Not all cruise lines are budget friendly, so researching which cruise line works best for your budget will be very important for vacation planning. Some cruise lines offer great deals and prices, while others focus more on offering an upscale, luxurious cruise vacation. The most affordable cruise lines include Royal Caribbean, Carnival Cruises, and Norwegian Cruise Line. But this doesn't mean you can't find great prices on other cruises like Princess Cruises, Holland America, and Celebrity Cruises, but you will most likely find budget-friendly sailings on the more affordable cruise lines. Next, book an inside cabin. I swear by this tip. Inside cabins are the absolute best way to plan a cruise on a budget. These staterooms are often the cheapest staterooms you'll find on board, although you can still have a wonderful cruise vacation. Even without having a window, an inside cabin has everything you need. Even though they're usually the smallest staterooms available, I found that inside cabins have plenty of storage. I almost always book an inside cabin because it's the most affordable cabin selection. Sailing on cheaper cruises means that I can cruise more often. It also means that I can spend more money on things that matter to me, like specialty dining and in-port exploration. Besides, no one spends that much time in their cabin anyway. At the end of the day, all you need is a comfortable place to sleep, change, and shower, all of which an inside cabin provides. Not to mention, you can take a killer nap at any time of the day because it's pitch black all the time. Next, you'll want to book early. Another tip when you are planning to book a cruise on a budget is to book your reservation as early as possible. When you book early, you'll be able to book a stateroom that aligns best with your budget. When itineraries first become available, the cheapest cabins get booked first. If you wait until it's too late and too close to your sailing, you'll probably be stuck paying a pretty penny for a higher tiered stateroom that you might not value. Longtime cruisers will tell you, Booking early also ensures that you have plenty of time to save up for your vacation. You can also take advantage of any promotions or better pricing in the future. Which brings us to our next tip, repricing often. When you book your cruise early, you can still score awesome deals or promotions even before your cruise departs. Cruise lines will often reprice your cruise if the current rate is better than when you booked. For example, Royal Caribbean offers its best price guarantee program, which allows cruisers to take advantage of a better price up to 48 hours before sailing. You need to contact the cruise line yourself or have your travel agent contact the cruise line to apply the new price. Be sure to reprice your cruise often to ensure that you get the best deal on your sailing. Most of the time, you can get a refund to the original form of payment or have onboard credit applied to your sailing. I cannot tell you how much money I've saved by repricing our cruises often. Just recently, I saved my family $3,500 on an upcoming Holy Land cruise because the price had dropped dramatically. On an upcoming cruise to Alaska, I have repriced our sailing three times, which has saved us $300. You also can consider last minute sailings. You might be thinking this is contrary to everything we've been telling you, and you're right. Waiting until the last minute can be risky and doesn't necessarily guarantee that you'll snag a great price, but you can get lucky on a great price if you book a last minute cruise deal. Last minute sailings can be a great option for budget cruising. When sailings don't sell out or have low demand, cruise lines are forced to drop their prices as the sailing gets closer. You'll definitely need to be flexible to take advantage of a last minute sailing though. Also, make sure you check airfare prices if you need to fly to the cruise port. Just because your cruise is super cheap doesn't necessarily mean that airfare will also be super cheap. 
One of the easiest ways to plan a cruise when you're on a budget is opting to skip shore excursions. These are very pricey and they add up quickly, especially for those sailing with children. Shore excursions offered through the cruise line are going to be top dollar because of the added convenience, security, and flexibility. But don't feel like you absolutely need to book shore excursions to get the most of your cruise. Consider booking an independent excursion through a third party. If you can find other cruisers that want to do the same excursion, you can save even more money depending on the group size and tour option. You will also have plenty of tour options when you get off the ship at the port. You will usually have vendors right at the port that offer day of tours at a fraction of the cost that you'll pay through the ship. It's not uncommon for a cruise line to offer pre-cruise planning sales before you're sailing. This can include sales on dining packages, shore excursions, specialty dining, and onboard internet. Your purchases are always flexible leading up to your sailing, meaning that you can cancel something that you've purchased within a certain time frame. Normally, you can cancel any pre-cruise purchases up to two to three days before the cruise departs. Therefore, if something you've previously booked is now offered at a lower price, you can simply cancel your old purchase and rebook for the new price. Snagging a pre-cruise sale can make some of those luxury purchases feel more affordable when you're getting 30% off. Next, packages can save you money. Cruise lines offer plenty of onboard packages like specialty dining and premium beverages that can save you some serious cash. Before booking one of these packages, make sure that you will actually eat or drink enough to make the purchases worthwhile. On average, you'll need to consume five to six alcoholic drinks a day to make the unlimited packages worth it. Take a look at the specialty dine-in options on board your cruise to decide if that's something you also want to splurge on. If you think that you'll have frivolous spending on board your cruise and have trouble sticking to your budget, then booking an onboard package might be the best choice for you. This is also more convenient for some, as the price is fixed and creates a truly all-inclusive cruise. Another great tip to save money when cruising is choosing a sailing during the off season. For example, mid to late January is a great month to cruise because kids are back at school and the holiday sailings have concluded. October to November are also good time frames to consider cruising because this is considered off season as well. As a rule of thumb, when kids are in school, you'll be able to find better deals for cruising. Additionally, cruising during hurricane season can also help you secure a great price on your cruise vacation. While the newest ships offer the latest and greatest from the cruise line, you'll always be spending more to sail on board these vessels when they're first released. There's usually a very strong demand for sailings on a cruise line's newest ships, so you might want to consider booking your cruise on an older or smaller ship. While some of the older and smaller ships don't have all these bells and whistles of newer ships, you can still have a great cruise experience. You'll experience a more intimate cruising atmosphere on a smaller ship and still receive excellent service, food, and entertainment. Additionally, some of the smaller ships are able to dock in less popular ports, so you might be able to see more unique cities when choosing to sail on a smaller cruise. Pay when you can. While you normally have to make a final cruise payment within a certain time frame of your sailing, you can make payments whenever you want on your cruise leading up to the departure. Maybe you got a great bonus at work or you've been saving diligently for your vacation. Making payments when it fits your timeline and budget can ease planning stress. You can also determine a monthly amount to pay towards your future cruise if that aligns better with your financial habits. Some cruise lines even offer interest-free install payments, which can be a great option for budget cruisers. So there you have it, our best tips for planning a cruise on a budget. Let us know in the comments below if you liked this video and please like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you and happy cruising.